The James Webb Space Telescope has captured mind-boggling images of the second and fourth most distant galaxies ever seen. A group of scientists made this astonishing discovery in the Pandora's Cluster. Using cutting-edge observatory techniques, they located two galaxies, Uncover Z13 and Uncover Z12, a whopping 33 billion light-years away from us. In this episode, we'll dive into the exciting details of how the JWST detected and measured these ancient galaxies, which reveal the universe's diversity and complexity more than 13 billion years ago. We'll also explore the implications and significance of this discovery for cosmology and galaxy evolution, detecting and measuring the farthest galaxies ever observed. Have you ever been amazed by the vastness of space? Do you ever wonder how scientists measure the size of galaxies or stars scattered across the cosmos? It's simply mind-blowing. The process is complex, involving sophisticated gadgets and intricate mathematical calculations. But that's not all. We have also discovered numerous techniques to measure the universe's vastness, and we are about to explore them together. Parallax is an intriguing optical phenomenon that occurs when an observer changes position, causing nearby objects to appear to move differently from distant objects. This fascinating effect can be easily demonstrated by extending your finger at arm's length and looking at your fingertip, first with one eye closed, then the other. The apparent motion of your fingertip against the background objects results from the change in viewing position, about three inches from one eye to the other. Astronomers utilize this principle differently as they study the stars. As the Earth orbits the Sun, stars closer to us shift their positions relative to more distant stars, which seem to remain fixed. By precisely measuring the angle through which the stars appear to move over the year and knowing the distance that the Earth has moved, astronomers can apply basic high school geometry to estimate the distance to the star. This technique has been used to determine the distances to many nearby stars. Parallax is the first inch on the yardstick with which astronomers measure distances to even farther objects. Astronomers use Cepheids, a class of variables, to calculate the distance of a star from Earth. A Cepheid's pulsation length is directly related to its actual brightness. By measuring a Cepheid's apparent brightness, astronomers can calculate its actual brightness, revealing its distance. However, astronomers must use the parallax method to get the distances to some of the closer Cepheids to calibrate their true brightness. For more distant galaxies, astronomers rely on supernovae. Like Cepheids, the rate at which a particular class of supernovae brightens and fades reveals their actual brightness, which can then be used to calculate their distance. Determining their absolute brightness is necessary to know the precise distances to a few supernovae. James Webb Space Telescope discovers two of the most distant galaxies ever glimpsed. The JWST has made a groundbreaking discovery. It has taken pictures of the second and fourth most distant galaxies ever spotted. This exceptional discovery in Pandora's Cluster, also known as Abel 2744, was made by a group of scientists from around the world under Penn State researchers' direction. Using spectroscopic data from the Cutting Edge Observatory, they have detected two galaxies, Uncover Z13 and Uncover Z12, located about 33 billion light-years from Earth. This galaxy cluster has an immense gravitational pull that warps the fabric of space-time, allowing for the magnification of light from distant galaxies. By using the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers were able to search for early galaxies that were magnified by this cosmic lens. As a result, it discovered two of the highest redshift galaxies ever seen, shedding new light on the mysteries of the universe. The phenomenon of cosmological redshift results from the universe's continuous expansion, which leads to the stretching of light wavelengths. As light from galaxies travels across space to reach us, the increasing expansion of the universe causes a more excellent stretching of the light wavelengths. The further away a galaxy is from us, the more its light is affected by the universe's expansion. This stretching process causes the wavelengths of light to shift from tight, bluish ones to longer, redder ones, which eventually fall into the invisible infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The JWST's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, and near-infrared spectrometer, or NIRSPEC, are capable of detecting these infrared wavelengths, which are the result of the stretching of light 
from galaxies that existed between 300 and 400 million years after the Big Bang. Bingji Wang, an astronomer at Penn State, and her team were able to identify the lensed images of two high redshift galaxies. One of them, which they designated Uncover Z13, where Z stands for redshift, has a redshift of 13.079. This discovery confirms it to be the second most distant galaxy known to us. For the sake of comparison, the most distant confirmed galaxy is Jade's GS Z13-0, also discovered by the JWST in 2022, with a redshift of 13.2. We can observe Uncover Z13 as it existed just 330 million years after the Big Bang. The recently discovered galaxy Uncover Z12 has a redshift of 12.393, making it the fourth most distant galaxy ever observed. It provides a glimpse of the universe 350 million years after the Big Bang. How different are these galaxies from others? Witness the beauty of the uncovered galaxies set apart by their unique appearance. Unlike other galaxies at high redshifts that appear as mere dots, these galaxies showcase their spectacular structure, leaving us in awe of the vastness of the universe. Previously discovered galaxies at these distances appear as a dot in our images, Wang said in a statement, but one of ours appeared elongated, almost like a peanut, and the other looks like a fluffy ball. In this era, the galaxies stand out not only because of their increased prominence, but also due to their unusual size. Uncover Z12, for instance, boasts an edge-on disk that spans approximately 2,000 light-years, which is six times larger than other galaxies found during this period. As we explore the early universe, we are intrigued by the diversity of galaxy properties. It is still being determined whether the differences in size result from the way the stars formed or the events occurring after their formation. Nevertheless, the dichotomy in galaxy properties is fascinating to observe, with each galaxy showing unique features and characteristics. These early galaxies are believed to have formed from similar materials, yet they demonstrate stark differences. Despite their differences, both newfound realms have common characteristics that support the Big Bang model. This model suggests that galaxies started small and grew rapidly through mergers with other galaxies and gas clouds following the creation of our universe. The discovery of the young galaxies by Uncover is truly fascinating. The growth of these galaxies stimulated star formation which led to an increase in the abundance and variety of elements they contain, including substances heavier than hydrogen and helium. These galaxies are small, young, and actively forming stars, which is exciting because it supports the Big Bang Theory. Joel Lasia, a co-researcher on Wang's team, said in a statement that the discovery of these young galaxies uncovered important evidence that supports the whole paradigm of the Big Bang Theory. The James Webb Space Telescope is a remarkable instrument, capable of detecting galaxies at even higher redshifts than Uncover Z13 and Z12. As a result, the JWST has the potential to observe younger galaxies that are not visible with other telescopes. However, despite its impressive capabilities, it did not detect any galaxies being lensed by the Pandora Cluster. This could mean that galaxies did not form before that time or that the observation window needed to be more significant to capture any observations. Nonetheless, astronomers are optimistic and will continue to search for the first galaxies by using various lensing clusters to uncover new windows into the deep universe. By combining the capabilities of different telescopes, researchers hope to gain insight into galaxies' formation and the universe's evolution and it is an exciting time for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The space exploration world remains excited as the JWST continues to make new discoveries and unlock secrets about our universe. With its powerful ability to delve deeper into the universe's past, this game-changing telescope is rewriting our understanding of cosmic evolution. It's a monumental achievement that promises to open new doors to knowledge, discovery, and inspiration. Keep your eyes peeled for more amazing insights into the mysteries of the cosmos. The future of space exploration is brighter than ever. We hope you enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to share your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for weekly space updates. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.